time over the next few years, when the time was less turbulent, I would speak to the president about moving uh, on Theresa May to get my name off that list because it's a, it's a blot on my on my name. It's not going to happen now. So there's no self-interest in what I am saying to you today. And often you have to say, well, what has he got to gain by this? Tell me what I got to gain by this. Nothing. All I've got to do here is tell you what I think is the truth. I'm using reason. I'm using logic. And I'm also remembering what Donald Trump sold us on the campaign trail. Because you see, there's a degree of guilt that I have today. I'm one of the chief reasons he is president. I'm not about to apologize for having told you to go vote for him. I'm not there yet. But what he just did last night, which I have... I think so aptly defined as a military tweet, is almost identical to what Hillary Clinton would have done, but worse. Isn't it Hillary Clinton who kept calling Putin Hitler? Isn't it Hillary Clinton who kept calling for war against Assad? And we said, no, we don't want war against Assad. Do we like Assad? No, he's a monster. However, he's a less, less of a monster than ISIS. And he's the only thing we have fighting ISIS, him and the Russians. So why do you want ISIS to prevail? Tell me why you want them to win. Didn't Donald Trump just the other day say he was going to wipe ISIS off the map? Well, it just made ISIS stronger, not weaker. None of this makes sense if you actually think it through. Now, having said all of that, I want to take a couple of calls because I could be here tonight for five hours, not three. And the listeners are just hot as fire on this issue. Hey, let's see. KSFO Martin on line eight. What's your comment, please? Yes, well, Michael, just to let you know that uh, during the Vietnam War, 